Hello, I'm Ben Taylor and here at the Westminster School we will provide your child with the support that they need to be successful in the world of work. Many parents like you worry about the future for their child, especially when they leave school and what happens next. One great option is the supported employment option, which we provide in a happy and safe environment and is one of many in the Sandwell area. So when students come to us, we help them in all sorts of ways, with their timekeeping, with their uh, confidence, with the skills to do the job, just basically anything that they need support with. I help students um, with their worries about the internship by talking them through a task before we do it, so that they know exactly what's expected of them, how to do it, and then I do it alongside them, possibly showing them myself doing it first. I think parents should look into it. There's so many benefits for the students. They gain so much confidence, um, and it sets them up for the world of work. I work here for Autograph who works in, in the kitchens. The jobs I do every day is put away the delivery and like serve the kids the food at dinner time. Every member in the, in the kitchen helps everybody. My next step is to like get my own like cafe restaurant. I am working for Blakemore. The jobs I do every day is um, cages, restock and hygiene. I've made loads of friends and walked right from the beginning to, to like here, where I am now. I'd save up for a car. I like to buy my dad something right before, before me and then um, and my mum. Basically, she's like she's like a mom here to me, but um, but at home, yeah, my my dad's there and my mom's there. But she's at, but every time I'm here, she's she's like a mom and a, and a parent to me. I think it's fantastic. I think it gives them independence. I think it shows them the life of work and what work is. And I said once they're on their apprenticeship and get the money. Um, they'll be just like everybody else, earning their money and going out and spending it. They didn't say anything to anybody except hello, if they were spoken to, they'd say hello. When we come back in October half term, I said, by Christmas I want you to have spoken to three people and made three new friends. And it was the whole warehouse, it wasn't just three people. And now the banter that they have is amazing and the jokes and I don't get off of them, but... <laughs> quite, I'm quite proud, actually. That means he can ask me anything or needs any help with anything. That's what I do. And if he needs me to talk to Dad, I'll go out and talk to Dad at the end of the day. And vice versa, if Dad needs to talk to me. The anxiety you get when you first start is he's not going to be able to do it because you know your son, daughter, but then when they come back and he's, he's achieved this and he's achieved that, you're thinking, well, it's, it's wonderful. Just to be the best he can be. I always say to him, you can only be the best you want to be. You know what I mean? If you want to go out there and progress, I says, you're at Blackmore's and you're starting us, you know, in the warehouse. You know, later on in years, you could think, well, I've been doing that for years. You could become a manager. It might be a long thing, but it's something to aim for. Whatever path he wants to chew us, I'm going to be walking right behind him, no matter what. You know, he's my son. He'll always be my son, no matter what. So he'll do things his own, but I'll be behind him all the way. I am working for him to surf. I do, like, Empty the bins, check the bin. I'll deliver parcels so I know where they go on next time. So Chris is my job coach. She's the one who's helping me at the minute to get ready for my internship. I like the way she helps me, yeah. Like, to get, get to know the places. I felt like nervous when I first started. Now I don't feel nervous anymore, I feel confident. My mom thinks I'm like actually progressing really well. 
I work for Grand Control. I use trimmers, mowers, bank mowers, tractors, IC geese, head cutters, blowers, bit of goats, jet washes. Yeah, I've saved money. My when I got paid for my pay, first paycheck, I save it up. What are you saving for? House or car or bike, whatever. So the employment journey Wayne's been on started with a supported internship at school and then transitioned into um, a full apprenticeship with one of the local providers. From a parent's point of view, the main anxieties were if people he was working with didn't understand his communication and some of the support needs and also how he processes information. Um, from Wayne's point of view, there was there was little anxiety, he was, he was sort of ready to go and up for it from, from day one. So the impact for Wayne is he's grown in, in confidence and knowledge and skills. He's been able to see what it's like to contribute to a community bigger than in school, so what goes out there in the, in the big wide world. We've always had high expectations with Wayne and to know that there was a lot of things in there that just needed to be extracted and brought out. If parents or, or carers are worried about the, um, the programme, I would just ta allow them to take the risk, listen to what the child wants to do, work in collaboration with the people who are supporting the child and with the provider, and talk about your anxieties. Um, pr present as, as confident when you're talking to your child so they feed off the conf confidence that, that you've got, and, um, and just allow them to go out there and, and flourish. Ryan enjoys the fact that he earns money. It's given him sort of more choices really, so he can go out and, and sort of spend on what he wants to spend rather than justifying it to, to us as parents, you know, to pull it out of our own sort of purse really. So it's given him um, more independence, but also more thought behind why he wants something and also how to how to get it so it might mean that he's got to sort of save up some money towards that so he knows now he can go out and and do similar work in different environments just give you an example he wants to cut the neighbor's lawn and do the hedge um, and that's absolutely great she's really pleased but then he's gone and asked her um, will you have to give me some money to at least cover the pet in my machines so he's got a sort of a knowledge now about how it sort of all works and and how to earn that money that you enjoy spending on the things that he wants. I work with a company called Ground Control. They look after the ground. The jobs that I do is tractor driving, hedge cutting, strimming and fixing stuff. A internship um, is about timekeeping, working yourself towards an apprenticeship. My job coach is Laura, she's very helpful, she helps me out a lot. I think it's a great alternative to college. Not every student is interested in going into a classroom and continuing with classroom based learning. So for those students that don't fit in with that scenario, doing an apprenticeship or a support internship is a great way to continue their learning without being in a classroom. There's a lot of soft skills that we teach them. Um, sort of things like you have to bring milk in to share with in the staff room and um, teaching them that they have to learn the time so they can know what time to come to work when they take their breaks. Um, we often go for a coffee together so they need to learn how to order coffees. Um, little things like that, all those little skills that you need in work, they're learning all of those things as well. They, they come to me as students, behaving like students and by the time they finish the program they are adults ready for work. Um, they mature a lot in that period of time because we give them the opportunity uh, to be, have independence and it's done slowly and progressively when they're ready but they get a lot of independence and they change ever so much. So, the supported internship and apprenticeship programme. The option that's really making an impact and changing lives and it could be for your child.